quick, easy, and absolutely wonderful salsa. First off, I always use three different types of canned tomato. Any type of diced, fire-roasted tomato. This is what we have for this one. And any type of diced tomato, just regular old tomato. Hopefully that the uh, steam is used to take the skins off. That's the best way to do it. And a can of Rotel or any type of green chili um, tomatoes. On top of that, so we have those three I put in. On top of that, I use three fresh tomatoes. Not very big, but three fresh tomatoes. If you have larger tomatoes, obviously you can cut it down to, to just a couple. White onion. We'll get into uh, how much of that after we get all of the cutting done. I usually put in two jalapenos, but hopefully you get a good shot of that. This guy is huge, so I'm just going to stick with one jalapeno. I should have grabbed a normal size one to show you how big this is, but uh, this is almost like a jalapeno banana. It's just large, so that. And I know it's controversial, but at least in our household, we have to use cilantro. We have to use cilantro. I know some people don't like cilantro. That's okay. This tastes almost as good without the cilantro. Those of you who don't like cilantro will say it tastes way better without the cilantro, but in our house, we like the cilantro. So on top of that, the only last thing that we use to uh, kick it up a little bit is some sea salt. Use whatever brand of sea salt you want. We just happen to have this one. All right, I'm gonna cut it all up really quickly and show you how we throw it all together. It's really fast and simple, but that's the product we use. Okay, everyone, we're back. Everything is cut up, as you can see on the left there. We have our three cans of tomatoes all put here together. We have about a third of a cup of cilantro when we get done with it. About two cups of chopped tomato. About one cup of chopped onion. That giant jalapeno turned out to be about a half a cup of jalapeno. And then about a half of a tablespoon of salt. Now often I will use red onion in this, red Italian onion, just because it gives it a little bit different flavor profile. And actually that's what our daughter, youngest daughter Evie prefers. But today I decided to use white onion. And then uh, again, tomatoes from our garden and cilantro and uh, beautiful jalapeno. I wanted to measure it all out for you in cups because a lot of time cooks and chefs will say, well use two white, onions. Well, that really doesn't mean anything because onions can be the size of a softball or they can be the size of a golf ball. So that means absolutely nothing. And I don't use too much salt in it, about a half a tablespoon, like I said, because since I'm using three cans of tomatoes, there's quite a bit of sodium in those already. And of course, the tortilla chips you use are full of salt. So we're going to blend it all together here real quick and be ready to go. Okay, here we go. So we're going to add the fresh tomato. And I like to stir as we're going because then you don't get a whole bunch of big clumps of salt here or cilantro there. Just get everything mixed perfectly as you're going. All right, we'll add the onion. Pull all that out. Stir it all up so it's nice and mixed. Oh, it's funny, you can already start to smell the changes into starting to smell like salsa. All of these are individual products that smell great. You can go by and smell all of them in the bowls, but then when you start putting them together, you go, wow, it changes. It absolutely changes. All right, our jalapeno. Get all that mixed in there. This seems like a lot of salsa to make um, in our family. This is a uh, Friday afternoon that we're making this. This will be gone by tomorrow night. Just even with us using it here at home. Right, here's our cilantro. I have to use every bit. Waste not, want not. And then of course I can't get off my hands. Okay. Really starting to smell like salsa now. A couple of them mixed up very nicely. All right, and then our salt over the top. Again, not too much. 
try to get it even. Get that all done. Now, kind of a side recipe that you can do with this, just for the heck of it. Simplest way that you can make guacamole ever. Grab a couple of beautiful fresh avocados, cut them up, squish them in a bowl, and take a couple, three good spoonfuls of this and mix it in, and you have instant, beautiful guacamole. We'll show you that again sometime, but it's as simple as that. And about a tablespoon of lime juice. And about a tablespoon of lime juice, right. And that's all you need. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing to do with this is literally to try it, and uh, I'm gonna let my beautiful wife do that for you in just three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. It's so good. Yummy.